This is the KSO Show, and I want to talk to you about Kansas State basketball transfers. There's three of them, came from three different schools. Um, you know, Kansas State got in early on all three of these guys. The first one that they, they landed was, I guess the first one that was announced was Marquise Noel. The first one they really truly landed was Mark Smith out of Missouri. Um, you know, he had committed to the staff before he announced you know, I think maybe a week, maybe two after uh, he truly did commit to the Wildcats. And, uh, you know, he's a player that is going to step in as instantly as one of the most experienced players on the team, along with Mike McGurl. Those two will uh, be the most experienced players on the team. Um, and probably Mark Smith even more so than Mike McGurl, because Mark Smith has plenty of starts at Missouri, whereas Mike McGurl you know, didn't really start seeing starts uh, at Kansas State until um, the last few seasons, and especially this past season where he, he found a very large uptick in starts, um, which turned out to be probably a really good thing for him uh, to help his trajectory. But, you know, back to the Mark Smith. He is a guy that will be able to come in right away, you know, has started uh, at Illinois as a freshman, and, you know, now – three seasons at Missouri, and now he gets a fifth season, just like, you know, many players out here that are, get to take advantage of, you know, the NCAA rule, it, it, allowing uh, an extra year of eligibility to everyone in, you know, in NCAA athletics. So, Mark Smith, he comes in not only as the most experienced player instantly on the team, um, but he also has, you know, a lot of intangibles. I mean, a, a power five guy, from start to finish, you know, because he, he started at Illinois, like I said, went to Missouri, and he's played a lot of basketball. He can shoot the basketball. He likes to shoot a lot. I mean, that is one thing we can ta say about him um, is he's a shooter, uh, and he shoots it at a decent clip, you know, for his career. Um, I don't have the numbers in front of me right now, which I should, and I will put, get them in front of me um, as I'm talking just so I can sound more prepared when I'm actually not, but here I am. Um, speaking about Mark Smith, he, he has a, you know, he has a really solid handle on the basketball. He can do a lot of things um, for his team, which is what exactly what this team needs. They need an experienced guy that can handle the basketball, shoot the basketball, and really just kind of bring a presence to the offense um, from whether he, you know, he's at the wing. I think he's a guy they could use too, potentially. I don't, I haven't heard this, you know, um, as inside info of any sort, I know the staff likes the size that Mark Smith brings um, to the table. Um, will, does that mean we could see him at a small small ball four situation? I think it's possible um, because I have, you know, gotten some intel that Maximus Edwards is a guy that could be seen um, sometime at small ball four. How quick, how early into his career as a true freshman will he be able to take that? Um, if he can take it, right away and run with it that's great if not mark smith might be the guy that jumps into that role instead of celta miguel who found himself in a spot that he you know isn't uh, his best at you know celta miguel is better in a role where he can be a full-time guard whether he's making plays on the offensive end or you know locking down a defender or locking down a you know the team's best guard on, uh, on the opposing team so I think Mark Smith could be that, possibly, uh, if they need it. But, again, Mark Smith's also kind of like Salt Miguel in, in, the, in the fact that you want him at the guard spot. Um, he's not, you know, the defender Salt Miguel even showed he is capable of being. Uh, Mark Smith, he's not going to be a slouch on the defensive end, I don't think. But he, he won't um, be dominant either. That's not going to be the end he is known for. It's the offensive end, I think he's going to bring a presence that this team's you know desperately needed they've needed offense for the last two seasons and i think that's why they went out and got mark smith and made sure to you know turn turn it into where they got an instant experienced guy who can also play some basketball and has obvious power five experience at two different programs before kansas state you know kansas state's known mark smith for a while i think it's a good going to be a good marriage between the two it's just one season which, um, you know, you wish you could have him for more. That just increases his value. But only one season still <laughs> could be major for a, a program that's really trying to turn things around and find a way to get, you know, 
um, on the bubble at the very least, you know, in tournament play would be in NCAA tournament play would be really major for this squad to do. And I think that they could be capable um, because of these transfer pieces that they're bringing in. And another one that we need to talk about, I mean, we're going to talk about all three. So let's, I say, jump into talking about Ismail Massoud. Ismail Massoud is another player kind of like Mark Smith. He's going to come in right away and be asked to be good right away. Um, if he and it's really because he is good enough. I, I I genuinely believe the team now that they've worked out with him over the summer, they've seen what they have um, coming in. I really think the staff likes what they have in Ismail Masood as a stretch four. He's a really good shooter. Um, another similar to Mark Smith, he's known he's going to be more except I mean you know in the forward position, he's going to be known for his offensive. Um, prowess more so than you know what he can do on the, the defensive end he can shoot the basketball he's you know a m more dynamic uh, forward they have had since uh, Dean, we Dean Wade he's not the same player as Dean Wade um, Wade had you know uh, more athleticism just uh, probably a better touch too, a better shot but Masood has a good shot it's uh, it, there's no doubt about that um, really good elevation on a shot which is you know, really fun to see on a player that's already 6'9", um, so he can create separation even if there's a guy right on him by just taking a shot. Um, so we can, s and I know him, I've, you know, in practice, I know how he's, he has made some shots in practice, you know, with guys draped on him. I don't know if that's going to translate into the game. You know, that's just practice and stuff. You know, of things that I hear about, you know, how the players are doing in practice. And I think he could, he's going to be, you know, a major contributor to this team. I would like to believe probably an instant starter. Um, if not, <laughs> uh, then it's something, you know, it'd probably be injury because that's the thing. They really like what they have in him. He's got the size. He's got the ability on the offensive end. And it's not like he's going to – I I don't think he's going to be a liability on defense just like Mark Smith. He's just not going to be a stud on that end. So, um that's why you need other guys that can defend. The last guy that I will speak about, if, if I forgot anything about Mark Smith or Ismail Masood, I'll try to throw him in before I wrap this pot up. But let's talk about Marquise Noel, probably the best defender out of the three uh, transfers coming in. Uh, a really scrappy defender. But, he, yeah, I mean, he, that's the way he has to play on it because he's also 5'7". That's his stature. Um, and that's what he has still been able to turn into what now is now on a uh, Kansas State roster and is, you know, pushing Nigel Pack more than he has been pushed in his, you know, young career after Nigel Pack came in as a true freshman last year and just didn't have the pieces around him on that team um, at the point guard position to push him to the next level. Um, and, and Marquise Noel has already in the summer has taken, uh, I think, Nigel Pack to that level and is going to continue as they um, uh, practice together and go up against each other every day in practice. Marquise Noel is a guy that can defend. Those are two guys that are going to be able to handle the basketball, handle an offense, Marquise Noel and Nigel Pack. Um, Nigel Pack is going to be the starter, day one starter. He's going to start, you know, he was as a true freshman. He is the unquestionable starter throughout his whole entire career at Kansas State. But it is still good to see competition coming in with Marquise Noel and a guy that they can rely on to come off the bench um, for, you know, several, several minutes, 15 plus, 20 plus, maybe even sometimes 25 minute games from Marquise Noel, depending on um, what happens in a game and whatnot and how well he acclimates. But he's very well known um, for what he can do on the defensive end and the offensive end. The only reservation is his size. That's if he was a little bit taller, um, it would be you know a lot more. I mean, a lot more taller. I guess more like if he was six foot with the things that he can do, he he wouldn't be on. He probably wouldn't be on Kansas State right now. That's kind of what the the player that we are talking about. Um, the ability that Marquise Noel has, the skill he has offensively, really really quick. That's another thing he needs at his size. The quickness is undeniable. Um, he can create space just off the bounce very easily, dribbling. And uh, 
I think the thing he's going to have to clean up the most is probably his turnovers. But that is also showing his willingness to pass. He does try to pass sometimes. Flashy passes, maybe sometimes a little too flashy. But that's something maybe he can clean up with Kansas State and turn into an effective, efficient playmaker. But I think the one thing he is known for the most on the offensive end is his deep three-point shot. Um, you know, I'm not talking – NBA three every single time, but he is capable of making deep shots. He for sure impresses the staff um, uh, a lot, you know, in, in not just the staff, but the team as a whole, you know, sometimes are in awe by what he's able to do on the floor, you know. So, I mean, that's pretty much a rundown of the guys that I think that we have. We have Mark Smith and Ismail Masood, who I think will be day one starters. Um, I just think that's probably the, the route they end up going until I hear otherwise, until we get closer to the season, since we are still a few months out. Um, but uh, that's where I'm at right now with them. And then Marquise Noel is a guy that we could look at as a really key bench piece. And, and really, it, further than that, helps Nigel Pack get taken to an extra level in practice, something last year he was only able to see in games. So it's kind of something that really is invaluable to this team is what Marquise Noel could bring to this team even in practice. So that's going to wrap this up. You know, we'll keep these rolling as much as possible. Um, and, you know, these, these KSO shows uh, – and this one might have been a little, you know, shaky here and there for me. I'm still getting back in the groove of, you know, getting back on air and stuff and talking about stuff. We're past a lot of t uh, uh, tough times of 2020 now. You know, 2021's at least been a lot better for me. Um, hope it is for you guys, too. I'm really excited about this football season, this basketball season, and excited about uh, pumping out you know, content for you guys as much as possible. Keep subscribing, subscribe to our YouTube if you haven't yet. That helps us out uh, tremendously. Um, we're keeping all these things on YouTube. So sorry that inconvenience, inconveniences you elsewhere, but subscribe to our channel. Um, we'd love for you to just at least do that. You only, don't even have to listen to any more of these if you don't want to. But anyway, I'm Grant Flanders for K-State Online. Thanks for listening and tell your friends.